Hey everyone, it's Marco here from the Droid Goblin channel. Today I'll be taking a look at the app called Flinks, an app designed to make your life a whole lot easier when opening up links in various apps. So let us begin. Everybody loves an app that makes their life easier. So Flinks by Inficen Labs fills that need where in today's slow internet society makes it one of the most efficient apps I've personally ever used. If you've ever been looking for some information, found the link, then select it, only to realize it takes a few seconds up to a minute to open, well then you probably have this app already. In short, Flinks opens up links, loads them all up, then you simply have to tap on the bubble to feast your eyes on a fully loaded site, article, image, you name it, without sitting there having to watch a boring white blank page. Flink's link browser takes the stress away from opening a link by removing the waiting time of opening an article and lets you carry on with whatever you are doing in the first place. Let me give you an example. Say I'm catching up with my latest Google Plus posts. I can select up to four links now without ever having to leave Google Plus. Now in Chrome or your preferred browser, you would actually have to open each one individually and then go back and forth every time to say if you want to just catch up on some more reading. With Flinks though, I can easily switch between tabs, all of which have loaded in quick succession. Oh, and did you notice that it also optimizes the site for easy reading and opens the link in half the time? This is thanks to its quick reading mode, which loads only the relevant content and saves you data. And if you don't like this for some unknown reason, tapping the eye icon loads it into the default browser view. That icon next to it is for the save for later feature, that actually saves it in the app itself. So if you ever find yourself in a rush, you can always find it in the saved tab. The history tab is just that, showing you all the sites you've ever opened in Flinks. Next to the bookmark icon is the option to share the article and the setting icon lets you do a few extra features such as copying the link or refreshing the page. Want to go back to the app that you're busy with? Well, then you simply have to tap back or just move the bubble and you can close all the links by dragging the bubble into the X at the bottom. I tell you what, this app is going places. If you don't like the look, there are more than enough settings to keep you satisfied. From changing the bubble size and its alignment, all the way to enabling a double tap feature to save a link, as well as changing the text scaling within the open link. Here, I really got the feeling that the developers were trying to be as accommodating as possible and they did so brilliantly. In conclusion, Flinks will soon become an app that you cannot live without. It's that good. Armando Ferreira called it the app of the month and I'd easily agree with him. Everything about this app just simply screams quality. So if you find yourself opening links on your phone quite often, then give Flinks a try today. You will not be disappointed. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the Droid Goblin channel if you haven't already. Uh, what are your thoughts on Flinks? Have you been using it? Um, have you been waiting for an app like this? If so, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, it's Marco here from the Droid Goblin channel, and I'll see you guys next video.